tool for telematic communication of dance movement using inertial sensor motion capture suits. I'm Dan Strutt, I'm a lecturer in the Department of um, Media, Communications and Cultural Studies at Goldsmiths. Um, I've been doing some work for the past few years using motion capture with dance artists. Hi, uh, Andrea Schlegel here, um, senior lecturer at uh, La Salle College of the Arts uh, in the School of Design Communication. Hi, my name is Mayden Fu. I'm a creative associate at Akram Khan Company. This is uh, my second project working with Dan, um, looking at how I, we, this could be incorporated into my creative work. I'm Melissa Quick. I work at La Salle College of the Arts in Dance Theatre. I'm also Beg. I'm a dancer and computational artist and also students um, in the MA in Computer arts at Paul Smith. My name is Neil Coughlin. I'm a director and artist of Studio Ashik. I've been working across performance in animation and virtual reality over the last probably three to four years now. I'm from Dredd. Uh, I'm an installation artist, also a computational artist currently based in London. I'm undertaking my PhD at Goldsmiths University of London. The whole idea behind the project as we started it was um, to connect two dancers remotely in two different locations, one in Singapore, the other one in, in London, uh, over a network uh, to dance together within a virtual environment. Um, what we achieved so far is that we managed to use two motion capture suits. These capture suits, suits uh, send data to a computer and uh, these computers distribute that data across the network in real time uh, over a long distance. What we presented the, or what we tested the other day with uh, Maven in the UK and with Melissa in, in Singapore uh, was to have these two suits uh, kind of talk or communicate together through different visualizations that were projected onto a wall in both places and uh, dancers Maven and Melissa uh, responded to the actions that were generated. I was emphasizing creating um, a sense of a connection by utilizing uh, inertial management unit data where I can highlight and emphasize the acceler acceleration and the speed of the movement between two dancers. Nice. Oh, that's much different. Like, like I feel like I'm, I am walking. Like, I wanted to explore ways to connect um, you two in the space. So the one with the direct connections or having other representations where maybe it's more of a collaboration, um, even with the drawing, can you kind of have a co collaborative painting in the space or something like that. What was interesting for me was, it was hard for me, I have to confess, to focus in with the fact that I was dancing with someone because I was so much in the habit still of looking at myself to see what would happen. So a genuine investment into dancing a duet with someone else was for me quite challenging. I didn't feel that I could really get into that. Because your body's not your body in a way. Like I'm not dancing my own body. I'm dancing the, the image of my body that's being projected. So, so it feels a bit like you're being a puppeteer and you're making the image of yourself dance with the image of someone else. Because I'm thinking of that and I'm really trying to just move in relation yeah. to that, it'd be really interesting for dancers to video it. And then watch it back, yeah. And everything I'm doing movement-wise is absolutely nothing the way I would dance with you. So to actually build a whole um, yeah. body of movement from this, what this does because it's looking up at that. The 
whatever the creation of that avatar is if you like the nature of that plays a huge importance in terms of how far one is able to um invest in it uh from an emotional perspective from what we have seen already there is a potential to actually engage with this tool from a very um um po- poetic perspective where the dancers have the potential to really to really create with a sense of ownership and see it in the moment then that so you can kind of guide like the viewers attention. totally like even some that part when you're going and it's coming close up to me and stuff like that it's cinematic i think one of the the great things with being able to represent the people in the in 3D space it's quite nice to be able to start to to build narratives out of the way that things are framed in a in a way that's similar to traditional filmmaking but um but all of this is live you know how how is it a collaboration and then at what point is it a collaboration between the people who make it and then is it a collaboration between the machine and the body or the system and the body how much of this technology is really about the dancers serving it and how much of it is about is it about it serving the dancer the audience can be brought more into this as well at least in some way giving more agency to people watching whether that's then deployed in kind of virtual spaces like VR whether we then take it into AR as well